opportunity to join us here today. Thank you to Key Audio for letting us be in this room. My name's uh, Jonathan Reichback. I founded StreamSoft about six, seven years ago, mainly working for immersive approval. Been working with Stefan here for 30 years. And so we've been working hard on how do we improve high quality streaming. And that's what we're going to talk about today. The three of us um, cover the world. We have Kent Poon working in Asia. Stefan covers this part of the world, and I cover the Americas. And so our, our company is pretty widespread. Um, and we've been working quite hard on how do we make streaming audio the best it can be. So with that, I'm going to let Stefan talk a bit more about what we do. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you again for my end uh, to come. Um, you leave me alone now, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going that far. <laughs> you know, today, today is a very special day for me. It's, it's kind of a, a dream come true. Some of you may know me in the context with Pure Audio Blu-ray. Uh, the name sounds familiar. Uh, so I was the guy who went to Pure Audio and, and a wish for many, many years was how can we get the quality of a Blu-ray disc onto streaming? Everybody's on streaming today, but what we get in terms of quality out of immersive streaming, uh, techn technically, it's for us as producers, engineers, it's, it's, it's quite frustrating. So we're passionate about high resolution immersive audio. So um, <coughs> what do we do? Why, why, why I'm talking to you? We, we will stream, we do stream, I'll, I'll present that in a second. 714 immersive audio, so the setup Chris just describes with all the speakers here. That's the setup we're streaming to. We're streaming surround sound, so even if uh, people have a 5.1 system, and lots of those still do, uh, we can stream to that and it will go up to 96 kilohertz, 24 bits. So we don't talk about data reduced codecs, stuff like that. So we're, we're using codecs, I'll come to that in a sec, but, but we're not, it's, it's like in the old days when we had MP3s and, 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 and black or whatever you, you're used to. And I forgot, almost forgot about that, we even do that on headphones. So we, we can stream, we do stream multi-channel audio directly to your phone and the finalization, the technology that, that brings you 3D sound to your to your ears is built in the app, in the phone, so you don't have to mess around with, oh, I, I'm not here, I'm not there. Same stream to pretty much all the devices. So, we build up together, well, thanks John again for, for this journey for the last, I don't know, three to five years we're talking. Um, we decided to build a platform that is for music lovers, that is album driven. So it's not the, the platform where you would expect tons of playlists and zillions of songs in different genres and whatever it is. It's, it's a music lovers, high resolution <coughs> album driven platform. As well, we are committed to, to the original recording. So uh, if somebody digs out an old um, four track court tape, we don't have the need to remix, to do whatever kind of magic to do that, to fit that into, a, into another standard within what we do. We just can, can do the full channels to the place where they're supposed to be and we keep as close as possible to the original. The third part, this is, this is dealing with artists and labels. Uh, you may have heard about the, 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 the problems with streaming today. Um, the business model for artists in most cases is broken. So we're gonna try to fix that as well and come up with a, with a different model, but I think that's not the topic of, of this particular show, but feel free if there are any, any questions about that. So how do we do that? Um, we decided we need to get access or every end user should be able to use existing equipment. So we, we figured out, well, what, what codec, what format could we use that is common on existing hardware platforms. So we, t we look at deep into the receivers and we, <coughs> of course, with the, with the experience we have with the Blu-rays, there is not too much choice. And so we had, but we had to make a choice uh, for a format that, uh, that survives streaming and that still can be 
handled by, by uh, existing receivers. So the format of today is all 3D. You may remember that from, from quite a while ago. It's still valid. It's, it's an excellent format. And uh, to, to get the streaming to the end user devices, we have, we have two main topics. One is speaker playback, the other one is headphones. Um, so the first uh, this is the ideal step, and, and I'm really happy that, that the guys at Steinberg Lindorf already implemented that. We, we've got an implementation running on, um, I just thought there's a third part missing, but I'll come, come back to that. Um, so in a Steinberg Lindorf AV receiver, there is already a, a, a software module integrated, so we can stream directly from our platform to that device. That's the, that's the ideal situation. For all other devices, we need to come up with an intermediate solution so you don't have to buy new equipment immediately. So uh, we built a, a, a platform running on an NVIDIA Shield, which is an Android TV set-top box. Um, and, uh, and so there's a little piece of software running on that set-top box. You connect that device to your AV receiver and the receiver just doesn't care. There comes an aura stream, it will decode and play it back. So, so that's, that's really straightforward. I missed the third, third part of it, um, kind of. Uh, it's, a, it's a streaming protocol called AC Connect, and, and that can be rolled out to different pieces of hardware and, 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 and functions like that. Mm. I mentioned it before, headphone playback is, is really important. Lots of people buy headphones, even expensive headphones. But why would you want to have a 768 kilobit per second multi-channel stream listen on your phones? The signal is already damaged, and what would you expect? So what we do, I said before, we stream a full uh, PCM stream 714 all over the globe. So how do we do that? We have an iOS app, so it works on the, on the iPhone and iPad. It's an Android mobile app. We built an Android TV app, which is exact that piece of software that runs on the Shield. There might be other, other devices to come. Um, it's a more uh, intense process to qualify these and, and, and check these that it's fully functional. Uh, but there will be more devices to come. And as an AC Connect uh, built together with a company called Streamer Limited, they have another booth here uh, down the hall, uh, they, they can implement this protocol into, into all of, of their clients' uh, devices. So, so what we see as a future is that this protocol will be part of a, of a mainstream uh, device, and so the end user just has an easy going. You open up your app, you connect to your receiver, you hit play and, and go for it. This is what I show you in a second. So this is the app. I'm gonna switch to that. I'm gonna play some music. Uh, this music, it's, it's well, um, let's say it worked this morning. Uh, <laughs> hope the internet is still stable and, and things like that doesn't go crazy. But uh, we, I'll, I'll switch to the app, and uh, and what you hear is Blu-ray quality on streaming. And the files are not not stored here anywhere. They're in the cloud, and directly. Um, and my my uh, my tablet here will just control the yeah, app. So you may have heard of this song before.
Picking stars like apples from the sky Threatening to throw them in the sea So we won't have